real Jamaican people yes. and real Jamaican food <laughs> on the premises and then now let's see outside there a England out there a England out there the people you see Red Boss a England you see him here a Jamaican with there a yard with there people my name is mdr this is cook on vibe and this is season nine of ting will be fine trust me that is it people war joy i hope everyone's all right yeah today oh what I'm, i've got something for you today people today's a good one man i'm telling you i've got these hidden gems they are gems of of the uk yeah we really have got Jamaica in the UK. Food side of things and bakery side of things. Today, people, we are doing something special, all right? We're going to a bakery in London, in Fort and Heath. It's called Cornfield Bakery, people. And I'm telling you, this place is just so authentic. It is just, it's Jamaican food cooked by Jamaican people on the premises. They they do every type of cake and anything you can think of. It, it really is a gem of London. It's a really, really popular place. We're going to go down and we're going to check it out. And just across the road, they've got a jerk centre. I'm telling you, this jerk centre, not a normal people. This one's a serious one. So just watch out for today's episode, people. We all be watching anyway. But <laughs> Hoy, today's a good one. I swear today's a good one. Let's go. People, here we are, go on. And I know I'm out thing today, hear me, I say? This is the gem. Of the UK, I mean, I say London, I may mean, say the whole of UK. It's the, the gem. Now, this is a bakery, a Jamaican bakery in the UK. Everything is, as you, if you see back there, we can't show it too much, but back there, they bake everything on the premises. I see a video the other day, and I, I, I believe it was you that was talking and, yeah. and, and giving the people there, and I say, yo, I forgot to check them and give you a link and just if anything bless you up first of all Thank come and love the works so she has to say yeah everything is what I love is they've got everything look at the snacks they have the Shirley biscuit they have the cracker they have the banana chips and everything they've got the gazada mm -hmm. everything look bread pudding mm -hmm. rock cake I don't think that there's anything that you haven't got banana carrot cake yeah. Sweet potato pudding. See it there? Um, cornmeal pudding. Total. Cornmeal pudding. I ain't even tried that myself. Coconut cake. All of them. Rock uh, cake. Wow. And Orange look. cheese. Jobs. Wow. Jobs. Coconut jobs. All of them. This one is the sugar bun. Sugar bun, yeah. And the coconut turnover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. rock cake. You said the rock cake already, innit? Wow. Mm -hmm. So you have everything. You yeah. really have everything. The bun, the fruit bun, the bulla. It's like the bulla. Bulla, yeah, you know the bulla already, people. Like it's like a ginger cake yes, kind of thing, is it? Fruit, fruit bun. And then your and fruit bun, the, your spice bun. The, the fruit bun the same as the spice bun, or is it different? Mm, it's the same. Same thing, thing isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so I Easter time soon forward, people. Yes. So you know, so everybody want them them bun and cheese for and Easter, is it? Bread. Hard dough bread. Now I've heard this causes problems mm -hmm. in the area. <laughs> I, I've heard there's queues yeah. out on the road yeah. for this. Yes. So, it, I, 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 but it must be, look, mm -hmm. baked on the premises. That's yes, why it tastes yes. so good and people, people, you get that, that flavor. Don't supply to no other shop. It's just here. Love Our that. products don't go to like individual shops. Right, 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 right. Sell right. on the premises. Right. Because I think a lot of people, they do it on a mass scale. Mm -hmm. They got a factory, mm -hmm. they do it and then they just, just people just come it's just original i yes. love this so much and uh, we're in fort and heath people it's called cornfield yes. cornfield bakery um yeah we're gonna check out some more stuff and i'm definitely gonna buy some stuff to taste 
because there's even stuff here people is taking me i thought i knew everything about jamaican food but boy i'll i'll turn away it's a coconut turn never see that one never fall okay look at that okay amazing look at that people cornfields bakery with there man all right so they have the road to them people so you have food as well Fried chicken, I you have soup. Oh Bucky lord! Soup, chicken soup, red pea soup. Yeah. In rice and peas, curry oh, goat. Oh gosh. Curry goat in brown stew chicken, curry chicken. So it's just the full works. Yes, and oxtail, the tail of the cow, and then we do everything. Fish, wow. Fish, stew, everything we do. Wow. Fish. So look, I see, I see this here. So is, is this your own brand? Yes, that's my own brand. So what's this? The the, the pickled pepper. Pickled pepper. So this one for the for the for the fish and them thing there, people. I love pickled pepper. Okay. Ah, oh, look. Yeah, look, look. You can see all the the stuff inside. They're ready to go on your fry fish. Thing, you know. So what's this like a sauce? That's, that's the blending one. The blending with the pepper and the seed. Ah, uh, okay. Like your rich flavor. See. Hot. Peppery. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mm -hmm. And what's this we got here? That's this is the ready jerk yes. season. Yes. And this is the fish and you have the hot purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because seasonings and them things. Yeah. yeah. And look. Yeah, I thought the cheesies and then thing there, the people, everything there. It come like a shop. Look, oh my days, are even the tickets are there. Even the, you know, when you see these, it's authentic. I love this people. You know, we promote Jamaican food to the fullest. And I think this is just really special to have. It's like a big shop, bakery, food shop, everything right there, so people. You have to come check it out. And if you've never tried these things, I will recommend you trying it where real Jamaican people yes. and real Jamaican food <laughs> on the premises and then now let see outside there. Are England out there. Are England out there the people. You see Red Boss are England, you see in here? A Jamaican with there, a yard with there. Authentic Jamaican cake there is or pudding. And the, and this one. I'm glad you said that, okay? Because they that's, make their own one. Look at this. Yes, that's the wrong here. And this one. Sweet potato pudding. Alright, so I'm gonna try that one. Because um I've, I know about the rum cake. We've done that on the channel before, but people look, they make their own rum cake. You can get the eight inch, nine inch, various prices and there. Well. Yeah. This one as well. Yeah. So this one is the, the, the coconut cake. Coconut cake, okay. I'm gonna go for the sweet potato. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the sweet potato and I'm gonna get a bread. Yeah. And also I'm gonna get one of these blends to blend up the fish with as well. There's Zimmy. How amazing is that, people? How amazing was that? The woman was really, really nice. She explained everything to us. Bakery. Red Fort and Heath. It's a bit windy outside. It's been a while to watch, but yeah, man, what an amazing little gem. What an amazing little place. Jamaica in England. Look at that. Hoi, people. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Otherwise, your fingernails will go rusty and crusty and fall off. This, people, is the another hidden gem. The jerk chicken center listen they do everything in here jerk ribs jerk pork jerk chicken and they do various other food but yeah you got your little sweets you get me it's a nice little place inside it's really really authentic you get me this is the jerk pork here people it is on a different level i'm telling you it's a different level 
the smokiness so basically they've actually got the jerk pans on the premises they do it all properly it's really really authentic i used to go here like 15 years ago and the taste never changed it's amazing same way you get me jerk chicken center it's mad yes i got mine with a cocoa bread that's one of the ones we didn't show you in the bakery but there it is again man the jerk pork again it's on a different level people um the jerk chicken is amazing you know they do other food but they're really really focusing on the jerk in this place um proper authentic it's the jerk sauce is 10 10 as well man yeah mad thing i had to bring some home I, I could not eat this earlier my missus is sitting next to me i could not eat it without bringing her some home couldn't taste that and not bring some home and we've got the hard dough bread there from the bakery. I really want to actually, let's try this now. Oi, oi, dip it in that jerk sauce. Yeah. It's definitely giving Jamaica vibes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's definitely giving Jamaica vibes. Let's taste this. Oh, wow. You can taste. It only ju it don't just taste that hard dough bread. You see where it's been baked on the premises. Oh mad. That is really good bread. I now understand why there's cues for this bread. But honestly, people, I'm just gonna get a bit of bread with this jerk pork. It's on the next level. Yes, my people. Oh, again, what an absolute beautiful little place, man. And the lady was really, really nice in there. Do you know what I'm saying? When I, when I left, she said, thank you very much for blessing us up. It was really nice. But yeah, we had to get some bits from there. So we've got this. Watson's pickled pepper. Now this is to season the fish with. Oh my God, I gave it a smell. It smells delicious. So we're going to be doing an episode with that. Uh, what else have we got here? We got the bread that people queue up. They queue up for this. Now this hardo bread is um, it is the I say national bread for Jamaica, but it, it's, it's it's the go-to bread, isn't it? It's like you know, like white bread in 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 England. This is this is the bread of Jamaica. Hardo bread. Um, I'm gonna give you a better look at it. A um, little bit sweeter, a little bit sweeter than your normal white bread that we get. Yeah, you get me. So um, we had to get the bread. What else we got here? We got some. We got some biscuits because they they didn't just have you know like bread and bun and stuff like that. They also had all the little snacks and stuff from Jamaica. Now these Shirley biscuits are very very authentic. Yeah, you'd see these everywhere in Jamaica. If any Jamaican people are watching right now, they don't know me out that, but Shirley biscuit original. You see? And then we got some, these are my favourite ones, the National Peanut Butter Cookies, they're 1010. Um, also, we got a drink. We got a June Plum drink from there. Yeah, very um, authentic, this, this, this brand here. We got some little cheesies, you get me? So we got some little snacks and thing as well as the bread. And we got some sweet potato pudding because she said this is one of the most authentic ones. Do you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to give everything a little try. And uh, yeah, why oi, oi, Cornfield Bakery. There you go, people, there's a better look at the bread. We've chopped some off to eat with our jerk pork, but yeah, that is the bread there. As you can see, the hard dough bread, sorry about the uh, shadows there, people, but sometimes they call it duck bread as, as well, I think. Yeah, man, hard dough bread, but look at that, people. Beautiful, freshly baked on the premises. Look at that. There is the sweet potato pudding, people. Look at that. Looking very juicy. Now, yeah, I can't actually remember what it tastes like. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try it, people. We're gonna try it. Sweet potato pudding from Cornfield Bakery. Really Jamaican thing. Why, people? 
Yeah, so we've got our June plum drink. We've got our sweet potato pudding. Now, first, let me go for because honestly, my belly's so full. <laughs> I've eaten so much today. I linked Ringo as well. And cooked our food with Ringo as well. You're going to see that on his episode, so watch out for that. Yeah, so the Shirley biscuits. Basically, uh, quite a plain biscuit. Um, what could I... It's just a plain biscuit. It's, it's, it's quite a plain biscuit. There's not really much to say about that. Um, the peanut butter cookies, they taste like uh, Reese's. Taste like Reese's biscuit, pretty much. You know, like the, the, the Reese chocolate bars and, and whatnot. Tastes like a Reese biscuit. That's what they taste like. Cheesies, uh, they taste just like your, um, your like cheese um, Cheetos. You know, just like the normal cheese Cheetos, they're kind of similar to them. Maybe a little bit more cheesier. Um, kids love them. But yeah, sweet potato pudding. Um, very authentic thing from Jamaica. Not something that I know too much about. And I think I only tried it once or twice before. And I couldn't actually tell you what it tastes like. But sweet potato, when you look at it and you think about it, can it work? That's absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. It tastes like, as soon as you bite into it, you don't, you don't taste nothing but vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon. It's all you can taste, like strong. Right? You know like a Battenberg cake? I'm not saying it's the same, but it's very sweet like that. That really surprised me, actually. That's 10-10. Probably because there's corn pills as well. Do you know what I mean? But it doesn't taste anything like sweet potato. Nothing at all. Like, not even in the slightest. Wash it down. Some June plum juice. You get me June plum with ginger. True juice. Very authentic drink. Beautiful. That June plum um, flavour, like, it's a very distinctive taste. Soury, citrusy, soury, but nothing compared to, like, oranges or grapefruits or lemons or anything like that. It's just got its own taste. Do you know what I mean? You couldn't, um, you couldn't match it to anything else. But yeah, Cornfield Bakery and the Jerk Centre. That Jerk Centre is honestly, you need to go and check that place out. You need to go and get some food from there. And you need to go to the bakery. These two things today, people, they are hidden gems. They really are gems. Do you know what I mean? They really are Jamaica in England. Do you know what I'm saying? People, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Do all that good stuff. You know the thing works, people. Big up section, and I will see you next time. Greetings, tell me how you're feeling. It's the big up section. You done the way I go, people. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. What yo, people? Welcome to the big up section. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, man. I really enjoyed all the food and that. It was like really, really nice, man. Today's big up, big up, Owen Connolly 3041. He says, great instructional and fun video, M. R. I'm going to try this in a few weeks. Oxtail is mad expensive here in the US. Used to be a lot cheaper back in the old country in Europe. Bro, I mean, I tell you the truth. Oxtail is expensive everywhere these days. UK, Jamaica, USA, everywhere. But um, yeah, man, I'm glad you liked the episode. People, if you haven't seen the Oxtail, the giant Oxtail recipe, go and check it out, the previous episode before. Also, big up, Steve Johnson 2264. He says, big up, cook on vibe, Oxtail looking nice. Respect M to R for preparing Oxtail with the cleaver. Really hard man style. Woyoy, junior for mad camera skills. Yeah, man. Big up Junior for the camera skills on that episode. Yeah, man, man, man went to work on that ox towel just so you got that, that, to see the full towel, man. It was a lot, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
people. Big up yourself. I will see you again on the next episode of Cook and Vibe. I was M. R. This is Cook and Vibe. Wayoi. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Tell me how you feel it. We are focused on. We are focused on. We are focused on.